Hello everybody and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. I've been doing a little bit off camera, just expanding platforms. Um, thinking that um, pretty soon I want to start up some Thalmcraft. And I wanted uh, an area to build kind of a Thalmcraft building. And it's probably going to be over here, I think. So I'm just trying to expand it out. But before I get there... Um, I'm going to take a break from doing Agricraft and the farms. I did expand the farms a little bit, so um, the, the leaves were just totally overwhelming the dirt generator, the compost system, so I ended up uh, turning off uh, shearing leaves, and I converted this farm to rubber trees. To do that, I put a stack of rubber saplings in there, and changed the filter on the duct leading into this to whitelist rubber trees. So now as the oak trees are, uh, are harvested, oak tr um, rubber trees are planted in their place, and everything's good. I haven't cleaned this area up yet. I probably ought to do that at some point too. But I'll show you what's happening down below as a result. I expanded this a little bit, and now we have lots of oak. Oh, I'm going to need to upgrade that pretty soon. Um, got a little bit of sand. This is all coming off the sludge boiler. Rubber coming in. Got uh, over five stacks so far, and uh, you can tell the leaves are still going. So, got eight barrels set up for compost, and uh, yeah, I've got 75 stacks of, uh, of leaves to go, so it's going to run for a bit. Uh, this guy, for some reason, the uh, rubber wood and rubber, raw rubber, are bypassing the barrels a little bit. I think it's because I just set them up. And then I've got a few extra things uh, that are coming in that I haven't set up barrels for yet. But anyway, um thought I would uh, take a take a spin through a different section of the quest book. So I I may have mentioned before, but I really, really like um applied energistics. And to get started, you need a skystone block. To get skystone, make a stone barrel, fill with lava, and right-click with skystone dust. So let's do that. Let's see, I've got a bucket. I've got a wrench. Oh, um, I should mention the spyglass. So the fissure up here, right, that I hid back here, has gone through and filled this up. And one of the things it gave me was some plastic bags. There aren't any in there right now, um, but you open up the plastic bags, and there were things in it. There were some plastic sheets, some raw plastic, and this spyglass. Um, I kept it out just to show there is nothing in sight. So, uh, you know, that's kind of fun. Anyway, uh, I, if you put the plastic bags in the furnace, it becomes raw plastic. I did that, and... Uh, up here we've got, you know, some raw rubber, some uh, raw plastic, some plastic uh, sheets, just some stuff. We'll uh, we'll use that at some point. I do have this rubber wood. I should probably take that downstairs as well as the raw rubber, just to have everything kind of in one spot. I do have some cobblestone up here, but that's a lot to take downstairs right now. So let's run that over and then get started with uh, making some sky stone. And I'm double right clicking on the barrel to move uh, everything in my inventory that will go in there into it. So I've got 32 uh, stacks of sky stone. I'll be able to do a little bit with that. And I'm going to pick up this portable tank. 
and head over to the room that has the stone barrel in it. Now, I don't expect this stone barrel to, you know, do anything crazy, but, uh, you know, it happens to be where the stone barrel is. So, there we go, and that was fun. We now have Skystone. Why did it not... Ah, how do I make a Skystone block? I smelt Skystone. Okay. Well, because I feel like we're going to need it at some point. Um, yeah, you use Skystone for a lot of things. You know, I'm probably going to want some ability. Actually, do you just use it for the controller? Yeah, looks like you might just use it for the controller. Okay, so I'm going to need... Um, Assuming I want to build a controller, I will need four of those. Let's go ahead and make them. I'll go ahead and make eight, just uh, because. And I'll be back when that's done. It's done. Just to clarify, I picked eight because I had eight buckets of lava in that portable tank. Anyway, let's, uh, let's feed this through the furnace and get ourselves some skystone blocks. And with that, we should be able to turn that quest in, put the skystone away, or the skystone dust, claim it, and we need step one for making massive automated contraptions, quartz, and lots of it. We need Certus Quartz Crystal, we need Nether Quartz, and we, we need Charged Certus Quartz Crystal all of which we got from uh, this system. So we have 42 stacks of Certus Quartz, we have two stacks and change of charged Certus Quartz, and Nether Quartz is... it's around here somewhere. It might be upstairs. You get that by sifting soul sand. So anyway, we get a Certus Quartz cutting knife and a reward bag. Let's check that reward bag out. It is a basic reward bag that has four lamps in it. Well, that's useful because the lamps that I had got uh, killed by the zombies when they uh, when they invaded. And I've been wanting to decorate a bit. And I suppose I could have just gone and crafted some, but, you know, where's the fun in that? All right, now the house is all lit up again. Happiness and joy. All right, back to the quest book. To grow quartz, you will need seeds. Toss quartz, quartz dust in water to get the corresponding seeds. Throw charged certus, nether quartz, and redstone into water to get fluix seeds. Well, that's interesting. I haven't done this before. So certus quartz seed, Nether Quartz Seed, and Fluix Seed. I wonder if I need to put it in a barrel of water or in water source block. Let's assume it's a barrel. I wanted to empty out that plastic tank anyway. quartz dust into water. To get quartz dust, I am guessing, just guessing, that I take a piece of quartz and run it through the pulverizer. You do in fact get Certus Quartz dust. Let's go get some nether quartz as well. 
Yep, it's up here. Another quartz dust. And what else did we need for this one? Thirtus quartz seed, another quartz. Alright, let's um let's toss that in the water and see what we get. I'm gonna use this stone barrel again. I'm really just guessing at this point. That does not appear to have worked. Alright. Let's go try something else. Let's try just water source blocks. <laughs> That's a little, uh, little anticlimactic. Nope. Not that helpful there either. Could it be oak barrels? Okay, I'm clearly missing something. I'm going to figure that out and we'll be back in a minute. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, looking it up in NEI, looks like you add, you put the dust with the sand to get the seed. Um, not quite sure what the difference here is. Maybe these are different growth stages, perhaps. Just guessing. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do those. Let's get two of those. There's sort of quartz seed. There's nether quartz seed. Now for the uh, fluix seed, let's look. Fluix dust with sand. Fluix dust is made by grinding fluix crystals, which is not useful. Okay, let's see what the quest book says. Charged Sirtis, Nether Quartz, and Redstone into water. Charged Sirtis. I have no idea how to do that. Um, I'm going to figure that out in a bit. First, let's see if we can plant this and get it to grow. I am not entirely sure if it's going to want to plant in sand or dirt or what, but um, oh, let's see. Does not want to plant in sand. Does not want to plant in dirt. Oh, I wonder if it wants to plant in farmland. That'd be kind of odd, but okay. Let's go feed it through the through the seedalizer just to see if it says anything about it. Maybe I can upgrade them. No, it does not want to uh, seedalize them. That's okay. Alright, I'm going to figure out how to make the fluic seeds and how to get these things to grow, and I'll be back. Okay. So, I was just not understanding the crafting mechanic they wanted to use to create the fluix crystals. You toss redstone dust, nether quartz, and certus quartz in to water. You get some magic and 
you get some Fluix crystals. Same kind of thing with the seeds. You toss them in, they won't despawn, and eventually they will grow into the crystals. So that was uh, when, when they say, when it said in the quest book, toss them into water, not kidding. Uh, the Fluix seeds, let's see. We make with Fluix dust and sand. So to get the Fluix dust, I believe I can just toss one of these into a pulverizer. Yep, and I get Fluix dust. Had some extra sand, so I uh, set that up. Then from there, I think I can toss these guys uh, once I've claimed the reward. I think I can toss those in there uh, as well. So if I pick them up, yeah, they're still all at zero percent, but at least it says they won't despawn, so that's good. I'm going to let that run for a bit. And this Fluix Dust and this extra crystal. Um, actually, let's make myself another chest. Uh, I don't know, maybe 9 by 9 Well, it's two chests, nine iron ingots, nine iron bars, and two clay. So I'm going to build that, and uh, we'll return. That chest was built, it did pop out the top, and there it is. So I'm just going to, uh, for convenience sake, toss kind of all the applied energistics things in here, because this is going to take probably a couple of episodes to, uh, to work through. So now it wants an inscriber calculation for the final things you need before you can get started in A2 are an inscriber presses and an inscriber. The presses can be gotten by seeding various metal blocks. Interesting. Inscriber engineering presses for a reward bag. It wants an inscriber and an inscriber calculation press. Inscriber calculation press. can be made in the inscriber with a block of iron. Crafting presses are found in the center of meteorites, which can be found in and around the world. They can be by using a meteorite compass. You can... Okay, do you just pour... Looks like you just pour molten lead onto a casting table to get an inscriber calculation press. 144 millibuckets. Let's try it out. So we will not need the pattern for the cast. And let's uh, let that run for a second. The inscriber. is made with a pure Fluix crystal, some sticky pistons, and some iron. Or a regular Fluix crystal. Okay. I wonder how you make a pure Fluix crystal. Drop a Fluix seed made from Fluix sand into a puddle of water. Okay, so that uh, we're going to get some of those in a minute. But for the time being, let's get one, uh, five irons, and some sticky pistons. Oh, cool. We got a, an inscriber calculation press. We will need that. And we're going to need some planks. Ah, we're out of planks. go and make some. Fortunately, the oak is no longer up here. Let 
now we have planks. The reason I'm wanting to uh, skip ahead in the quest book and go ahead and do this is because I'm tired of running all over the base looking for items. Alright, to make the sticky pistons. I think I remember the recipe as two regular pistons with two um, slime balls. And if that doesn't work, I'll look it up. Yep, there we go. So we've got our sticky pistons. Now we're going to need... Yep, it works like that. And we have an inscriber. And we get an inscriber engineering press and a reward bag. We get fish jerky. Very exciting. I'll go put that with the food. I wonder. Yeah, the fish jerky is not doing much. I'll go ahead and eat it. Alright, what's next? A growth acceleration. Place a crystal growth accelerator next to water block that has an AE seed in it and apply power to the top or bottom from ME cables. This will slowly purify the crystals. The charger can be used to power from various tools. So a crystal growth accelerator and a charger. And it will give us various tools. Let's see how these guys are doing. One percent. Wow, this is going to take a while understand why we might want something to accelerate the process. On the other side of the quest chain, building a basic network. Yeah, let's um, let's get this going first. So let's make a crystal growth accelerator and a charger. Ooh, we're going to need a Fluix block and some ME cable and some quartz glass. We've got lots of stuff to make. The quartz glass is any kind of glass with sort of quartz dust. The Fluix block is eight Fluix crystals or... Okay, eight pure Fluix crystals or four regular Fluix crystals. Interesting. I'm going to make some of that stuff, and we'll be uh, back in a couple minutes. I'm going to, I'm going to just make up some Fluix crystals and, uh, and be back. Okay, so I made up a stack of Fluix crystals, and I'm working on... There we go, we've got the Certus Quartz dust pulverized so I can make the quartz glass. I didn't realize it made four. Okay, well, I've got plenty of that now, or for right now at least. The Fluix block, pretty straightforward. Now, the glass cable, Fluix, needs, let me glass cable Fluix, which is made with a quartz fiber. and two Flux crystals. Looks like one of them might need to be pure. Not sure. We'll try it. The quartz fiber is quartz dust with glass. So, I'm going to need three more of those. I can tell I'm definitely going to have to get uh, 
crystal formation automated in some way. fiber and then let's go ahead and make uh, all three of the quartz fibers into cable if we can and we can all right so we've got that the crystal growth accelerator is two cables two glass four iron and the flux block And now we have a crystal growth accelerator. So, if let's see, let's remember what the book said about the crystal growth accelerator. Place a crystal growth accelerator next to a water block that has an AEC in it, and apply power to the top or bottom from ME cables. So I'm not sure. It does say ME cables, not from anything else. So, um, what the charger does. The charger can be used to power various tools. I wonder if the charger can be used to power this. Alright, so the crystal growth accelerator is there. Let's go ahead and pick up the, uh, the seeds over here. They're now at 3%. Flux crystals and five more iron. Achievement Flux production. All right, the charger. Doesn't look like I can uh, do much with that. Let's see if, uh, if I just run kind of standard leadstone ducting over here, if that will do anything useful. doesn't look like it. Alright, so how do I get this thing charged? Energy cell, subscriber, vibration chamber, energy acceptor, okay. I am not entirely sure if I can do this through an energy cell or if I need to actually build the vibration chamber. Let's see if the quest book says anything about it. The crystal growth chamber will allow you to grow and purify crystals without the need for puddles. Well, that's going to be useful. But it still doesn't tell me how to get power to it. I am going to work on that a bit and yeah, that's not helping. Hmm. Okay, I am going to, uh, as before, go work on it a bit and be back. I'm just going to go ahead and build the vibration chamber to uh, get that started. 
So I need the furnace for that. I need, what else? The energy acceptor, which is flukes crystal, quartz glass, and iron. And then we put those like so to get the vibration chamber. Now then, if I read this correctly, I can basically power this from, from any kind of burnable fuel and connect it. Maybe I... Okay, it does need to plug in there. Okay, that's running. It looks like we're getting some particle effects in there. So I'll assume that is working as expected. Fill that back in. It's one of the reasons I like to make sure the floors are at least too deep so I can set little channels like that uh, pretty easily. We are getting a device online from that, so yay. The growth chamber is ah, six growth accelerators, cable, chest, and hopper. Let's go build it. I'll be back. All right, so I've got the hopper, the chest, and the glass cable set up on the crafting table. Now we just need to make five more crystal growth accelerators. As you recall, that required quite a bit of flux and some quartz glass and lots of other fun. So I'm going to go off and work on it for a bit and uh, be back. Probably end up the episode with, uh, with building that and getting it going. Back in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and we're ready to get five crystal growth accelerators, which is just about enough. And when we combine it with that one, it will be enough. So I'm just going to put those away. We'll hop in here and get the fluid seeds, which we're just about done, but. Uh, this guy is currently offline, so let's uh, pick that up, and hopefully we won't need the puddle anymore. There we go, the crystal growth chamber. Toss that in there, and it does need power, so that, and let's give it something to burn. Sleeping, working. Not sure what's causing it to toggle between sleeping and working, but it appears to be doing something, so that's a good thing. This fish jerky is really not very filling. 99% pure crystals. Yay. Okay, so that's kind of fun. I'm going to leave that in because I believe that goes to a low power mode when it's 
done. All right. We got that. We get a pure nether quartz crystal as a reward. And now the next item is a basic network. For a basic network, you will need an ME drive, ME cables, and an ME terminal. The drive holds storage cells, which are where all your items are stored in digital format. The terminal shows you, allows you to access the items in the cells, and the cable um, basically hooks everything together. So we've got the cable, we need an ME terminal, an ME storage cell, and an ME drive. And we'll get a 1K storage cell, uh, full heart and a reward back, or or a reward back uh, for our trouble. So, good times. Um, that's, I think, going to do it. Let me check the time. Um, yeah, I think that'll do it uh, for today. And so we're basically ready to build the network. In between episodes, I will probably craft some of the... Uh, the components we need. It's so like any drive. Yeah, we've got a, a few things to uh, to get figured out. Um, I have to build the inscriber. Actually, no, we built the inscriber. We have to use the inscriber. Um, so we'll probably get that set up and uh, get everything going in between episodes. And I think, if I remember correctly, one of the uh, yeah, some of the stuff that uh, JDCat will give you is uh, inscriber presses and various other items. So that's kind of neat. Anyway, they seem to be much cheaper now. Just a single emerald. Insufficient currency. Anyway, um, fun stuff. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If, uh, if you have, let me know. If you haven't, let me know how I can make it better. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.